The issue really is not whether we go to the International Monetary Fund or not. That is a red herring. A very savory one, perhaps, but still a red herring. We are, yes, a sovereign nation and a proud one at that. And can, can decide not to see, seek IMF program support. The International Monetary Fund, the IMF, with all its power and leverage, can simply not force a program on us or on any country. An important lesson, however, of modern finance, as we all know, something we sort of learn at our mother's knee, so to speak, is that borrowed money comes always with strings attached. There is no such money. There is no such thing as free money with absolutely no conditionality. Except perhaps things like what is doled out by the same International Monetary Fund for emergencies, COVID relief, which we have obtained. And the basic conditionality for any creditor is fiscal discipline. Regardless of whether the money comes from taxpayers, from banks, from international capital markets, or from the financial institutions, our sovereignty comes with the right to manage or mismanage our economy the way we please. I agree entirely with the principle of national ownership of development policy. 